Now, this evening, the conclusion of our primetime news in focus report, Broken Bridges. Our reporter, Krista Campbell, joins me now in studio. Krista, what's the, what do you have for us? Hi, thank you, Herman. Five new bridges being built, four rebuilt, seven replaced, 25 rehabilitated, and seven maintained in Harborview, St. Andrew, St. Thomas, and Portland under the Southern Coastal Highway Infrastructure Program. The National Works Agency says the plan to improve the island's bridges will be done through major infrastructural programs going forward, with a focus on phasing out older bridges, but money continues to be a challenge. Bridges in Lacovia, Windsor, and Grosmond in St. Elizabeth deteriorating by the minute. There have been promises to fix all three in recent time, but the National Works Agency, NAA, says there's no money. However, we already have uh, some bridges in store because we do composite um, bridges that we, we, we actually import the components and then we have to get the requisite funds to carry out the civil works. On that list of 17 bridges, six are in St. Mary, four in St. Catherine, two each in St. Thomas and Portland, and one each in Clarendon, St. Elizabeth and Westmoreland. They include the Bailey Bridge in Tolo, Bogwalk, St. Catherine, where cane trucks and other heavy units continue to further undermine a structure not built for their weight, as well as Grosmond Bridge in St. Elizabeth, where residents have similar complaints. And I need the bottom of the bridge, give way. And nothing holy, strap them burst, everything burst up underneath it, so it don't have nothing to holy. But times, it are going to give way. Residents of Craig Mill and Belvedere in Buff Bay, Portland, are caught between two signs. A bridge that's ordered closed because it's unsafe, yet residents still chant it because the detour which runs through a river is inaccessible whenever it rains. The NAA insists the bridge should not be used by anyone as it can cave at any time. So I desire to have some work done at Craig Mill during this financial year. No immediate plans for the 128-year-old bridge in Oxford, also known as Noisy River Manchester, where residents argue large units are compromising the structure. But several miles away at the Troy Bridge on the border of Manchester and Trelawney, a commitment that the bridge will be fixed once funds become available. Where we are now is not so far from us completing the design. And once the design is, is done, We'll do costings. Now, NAA communication manager Stephen Shaw says a pedestrian bridge, as some residents have suggested, will not be done, but river training will resume to help reduce erosion of the remaining portion of the bridge. He says a similar strategy is being used in places like Trinity St. Mary, where two blocked bridges contributed to recent flooding in the capital, Port Maria. Two columns on either side of the Ocean River in Port Maria St. Mary are all that remain of a swinging bridge which collapsed in 1980. Now the bridge is an important part of the town's history and if it was in existence today would help reduce traffic congestion in the town. Mayor Richard Crary says he's already asked the NWA to help design the bridge as a legacy project at the municipal corporation. It would be nice to have a swing bridge but that would be far more expensive. It takes a lot of maintenance. So we are putting up, want to put a pedestrian Bailey Bridge that would connect because Market Street goes from this side of the town all the way to the other side by the post office. So that, that bridge connects the two sides of Market Street. Now, as major highway projects continue in the eastern and southern sections of the island, the NAA says several structures, including old bridges, are being replaced and others repaired. Stephen Shaw says this will continue to get all bridges up to an acceptable standard. Krista Campbell, TVJ News.